right, one moment here, and let me, sorry, let me just finish this. Here we go. And back over here, sorry. All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Tina Hewerman, and I am uh, so honored to bring you and introduce you to uh, Veronica Ortega. Veronica Ortega has spent um, years studying directly with Alexandria Brighton and um, just her knowledge, like I'm, I'm so grateful for her knowledge and um, information that she shares about the products. And I've had her on a couple other calls that I do um, with our, our sister company, HB Naturals. And just so excited to introduce you to her on the Go to Sauna side and cover the Seasons of Success collection that Alexandria intricately uh, formulated. And I think once you're done with this call, you're gonna see how much fun this collection is, why it's so important. And you're gonna be reaching out to everybody you know that you know loves personal growth because this collection is truly all of that. I wanna start though by introducing you to our, uh, our corporate team. We have Ben Scarcella, who is the vice president and Paula Scarcella is the owner, the CEO. Alexandria Brighton is our uh, formulator and I just realized I need to change that screen a little bit, but Go to Sauna Essential Oil Line, um, Go to Sauna Company was created as a way for Alexandria to share her brilliance in plant formulations and essential oils that um, we now get the opportunity to share with our friends. And I'm so excited. Veronica, I love to introduce um, Alexandria but I think you could do a much better job because she is your family member uh, at heart. And so if you wouldn't mind going ahead and um, introducing Alexandria, that would be great. Sure, I'd love to. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, so Alexandria Brighton is, as Tina said, is my family. Um, we became family um, over 20 years ago. Alexandria first, started in the holistic um, industry, if you want to call it that, um, years and years ago, she was very interested in herbal care. So she dove in deep about her education, about herbs and such. She went into Ayurvedic information, Ayurvedic um, knowledge and such. So she knew that herbs were one method of holistic care. And she knew to go to the next step, it was about going into the essential oil business or creating essential oil formulas. Because once she went through the herbs and she realized what else they could do and how essential oils could really benefit and work parallel with the, you know, with herbal care, she knew that that was the next step. So she studied and she traveled, you know, learning about essential oils and she came back to the United States and she opened a clinic in um, Mexico and Tijuana and were, was helping a lot of people, especially with cancer, because she did learn, learn from a German doctor um, about how to help with um, cancer and such. And, you know, we can only be so careful of the words that we say. So I'm just letting you know that this is all very, you know, parallel. It's integrative medicine. So we, you know, still want everyone to go to the doctor if they need to. Um, Alexandria then went from essential oils and then going, building companies, helping other companies with essential oils and just moving forward. It was just really an incredible burst that she had and with her knowledge and it shifted for her, the industry of essential oils, because then she realized that there was something deeper about what the oils could actually do. It wasn't just about, you know, physical ailments and such, but it was something deeper. So she moved to Wyoming and she studied with the Native Americans there. And as she was learning more and more about Native American uh, medicine, she just really started venturing out about, is the physical body ailments connected to an emotional part of the body? So if you've ever studied, you know, holistically, 
there is always that connection, you know, the body, mind, and soul. Everyone really uses that little tagline, but do you really truly understand what that means? And Alexandria did. So she knew that her blending was going to change. Her blending then went from not just physical ailments to how do we actually get people healthier from the inside out and from the depth of their souls, from the depth of, you know, what can help them shift inside that can help them live a better life. So that's who Alexandria Brighton is. She is incredibly mindful and her intention of blending and how she blends. She's not a traditional, like, you know, it is about the chemistry and the science of it and making it safe for everybody to use, but it's also about what oils want to work together. She's, you know, kind of like the Dr. Doolittle of essential oils. She talks to the oils and she really wants to make sure that people, you know, that the oils understand that they've got to come together to actually do a specific job. She sets an intention of what kind of blend she wants to create and what kind of shift she wants to help people with. And that's how she works. So it's always been an incredible honor to be a part of um, Alexandria's life and to learn from her and to be mentored by her. So, but she is, you know, we have spent 20 years, 20 some years together. And so we are, you know, we've become family. So I'm very, very gracious to be a part of Alexandria's um, world. So that's Alexandria Brighton. Thank you. I, I knew that you would do a much better job at it than I could um, because of your personal uh, devotion to her and what a, what a blessed, um thing to be able to call her family and uh just just i've only talked to her once on the phone and um she's very passionate about purity to the point that don't use her name unless she uh, allows you to use her name and um anyway uh she is a master purveyor master formulator a french medical aromatherapist french medicine um, will can and will use essential oils in the medicinal field. And anytime that you have something that is French medicinal, um, has French medicinal properties, you know that it's top of the line. The go to sauna difference, having a gatekeeper who knows the nuances between different plants, species, and who has been trained reading gas chromiographs, who understands how to read and interpret the results and benefits, and who has a trained nose will make all the difference in your experience with essential oils. Um, seasons of success uh, can only be achieved. We're gonna be covering the seasons of success. Um, which is a part of our oil of the month club and seasons of success can only be achieved when a person believes deep within their soul in their mission. We believe that once you try our unique essential oils and explore our mission surrounding this line, you'll see a life transformation in many ways. Um, so Veronica, uh, I'm, I uh, just, I want to take a moment again and just thank you so much. Um, Veronica is extremely knowledgeable there when she was first connected with Alexandria, she asked if she could clean her, um, if she could clean her office just so she could be near her and learn from her and that developed this lifetime friendship together and Veronica's knowledge base, um, her own passion for essential oils, as well as everything that she has learned uh from alexandria is going to bring you quite a treat today so um veronica i'm going to let you start and just kind of describe the essential the collection and then um, i did send you the slides but just let me know when you're ready for me to change and uh i'll click that next one for you so go, okay, my pleasure great. to introduce you veronica ortega everyone Thank you. Tina, you want to go back to the other slide first, the one right before that one? Yes, that's that's stay there for a moment. Thank you. So here's what I'd like to do today is actually talk about this specific collection. You know, I'm going to jump on every month, um, you know, and talk about each of these individual oils, but we'll hit a little bit of them about, you know, today. But, you know, what about them and what their benefits are. But I really, really want to spend a good chunk of this morning talking about why this collection, Seasons of Success. Alexandria was approached, as always, by Paula, um, wanting a new collection. And 
the one thing that popped up for Alexandria was, you know, people, we need to do something for this, our company that will help people be successful, that will help people be, you know, able to go out and, you know, build the company, build their own success, to be able to go beyond their limiting beliefs and their limitations and really go out there. Because the one thing, when you join an MLM company, sometimes it's really difficult to go out there and just start building the business. You may have, you know, you have, we have great coaches, we have great leaders, but sometimes you still have just a little something that's holding you back. So Alexandria knew that what she really wanted to do was to create a collection that would help people push through that, that would help you support people, that would really truly help support people in all that they wanted to do and all that they wanted to achieve in this company. She felt that it was really important that the company do something to support, you know, every single person, every single member. So she came up with Seasons of Success. She felt that the intention and the energy of this collection as it was being used could just trickle through the entire company and make the company even that more successful, make the people in the company even more successful and abundant because that's what it's truly about, right? We all want to be abundant and abundance comes in so many different ways in our life. So we want to make sure that we honor that and Alexandria did that, but she also made sure that we were persevering through our own challenges within ourselves. One of the big things sometimes is, you know, we really need to understand why, you know, things are the way they are. And with Alexandria, she doesn't just create a collection and says, this is, here are 12 oils, let's just use these. There's an actual method. There's a true understanding. She created the 12 oils in a specific sequence. She followed what she really, truly wanted to make sure that people understood because it just empowers the intention of what you want. Alexandria is very much about, you know, the power of intention. It's how she blends. So when she collects or she, when she creates a collection, that's exactly what she's doing. She's created a specific intention. Therefore, there's a specific method to how to use these oils. And I really want to talk about that really in depth this morning so you can understand, so you can actually get through the shifts and get through everything that really might limit you or may limit somebody else. So when you look at the season six, you're looking at 12 different oils. And Alexandria started with the spring. So the spring oil is not about March. It's not just about the spring. What does spring actually mean? She was looking at the four seasons. She was looking at the earth calendar. So the earth calendar happens all year round. There's four seasons, but the earth calendar is what connects us to the earth. So she wanted us to be able to do that. She wanted us to have that connection to the earth and to understand. When you think of the spring, what do you think of? You think of the spring equinox. That's truly the new year isn't it? That's when the seeds are planted. That's when you actually start going in and trying to create something, to manifest something. That's when nature's waking up and there's birth happening. You know, inspiration takes place, you know, truly in that spring. So when you look at the spring, you think about, you know, what do I want to start new? So instead of thinking just that New Year's is you know, the new year, think about the spring equinox. The spring equinox happens and that's the actual earth calendar new year. So she kind of, you know, went into this direction of let's, let's take advantage of this earth calendar. Let's actually work with the earth calendar, have the earth calendar work for us as well. Each blend is to work on top of each other. When you use the the one blend and you use the next blend, then they work consecutively together. They're in union with one another. So what you want to know is that the spring, yes, it happens in the spring, but it can happen at any time. You can start to manifest and set intentions or goals at any time. It doesn't matter. So 
It doesn't mean that prosperity as spring, that you can only use it in March. We want you to start. We want you to start from the beginning, from the beginning of a month. Because each oil is meant to be used within the 28 to 30 days. Because what happens? They say that in 28 to 30 days, you can change a habit. So in using each one bottle for the 28 to 30 days, you're going to already start to feel a shift. Then the next month, you will use the next oil. And then the next month, the next oil. So in 12 months, you should be able to really, you know, have a whole different perspective about your business, about your manifestation, about what you can truly, truly gain, you know, in using these 12 oils. You know, we all are, we all have goals that can be building this business, buying a new home, you know, it can be buying a new car. It doesn't matter. But these 12 oils are going to help you get there. So when she collect, when she did this collection, one of the other things that she did was she wanted to make sure that you we understood that there's a sequence. And it's important to follow the sequence if you're going to do this correctly. And if you really want to really manifest something within the 12 month period. So that's what's really important. So you really want to be able to, you know, have that ability to, you know, look back in 12 months and say, geez, look what happened. Look what changed inside of me. Look what, you know, really shifted. The limiting beliefs that we have within ourselves about, you know, anything and everything. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not able, you know, my family was poor. So I'm always going to be poor. I'm always, you know, there's all these types of little messages that came up when we, you know, when we were little or with the people that we were around. We need to shift to that. We need to actually change what that is because it's those little things that are still inside of us. We have cellular memory. So at the cellular level, we hear that little that record that continues to play periodically. And it's our chance. This is our chance to actually change that and to move beyond that and to push forward with that and to be successful at whatever level it is. To be successful and to be open to receive what you want or something bigger and better. Why not? You know, when they say the sky is the limit, do you understand that that means anything? You know, so when the sky is the limit, it means bigger and better. You know, what we hope to accomplish could be minute to what the universe has to offer us. So in this collection, Alexandria is helping us get there. She's helping us change our mindset in order to get to the bigger and to the better. To say, all I want is this car, but... If I could get a better car, a bigger car, something that's bit, you know, fancy, whatever, and I can make payments or pay for it in cash. This is what this collection is about. It's about changing the mindset. It's about being able to persevere and to understand, you know, and I'm going to say a word <laughs> in divine timing and understanding that it is all about something bigger than just us. And really, really opening our mindset to that. So this collection, it will rock your world. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. We have so many stories, so, so many stories about what some of these oils have done for people. It's just, it's amazing what, how people have shifted, you know, just using just drops at a time just the things that will, you know, that will change for people. So we want that for everybody in this company. We want, she wants to make, Alexandra truly wanted to have a collection that supports true abundance, true manifestation, and true success for every single person. So what prevents you from being successful? We, you know, there's always a little tagline that we can say to ourselves, like, oh, you big dummy, you know, whatever that is, we're going to shift that. And you have to be aware when those things show up, because when you are, all you have to do is apply more oil. 
whatever oil you're using that month, just, just apply the oil. You've got to stop, kind of deflect whatever is happening in your mindset, whatever limitation that you're feeling or you're saying to yourself, you've got to stop it. You've got to deflect it and you've got to put on oil and say something else for yourself. Create your own mantra. Now in the downloads, in the product information sheets, there are mantras that are, you know, that accompany each of these oils. If it resonates with you, fantastic. If you want to create something, great, but do not put anything in there that's negative. Use only positive words. Make sure that you are creating a mantra for yourself that is truly uplifting and that is limitless. Do not create a mantra that says, I will not. Don't use those words. Use positive words. Look at what you're trying to achieve as if you've already achieved it. Look at what you're trying to achieve as if it was bigger than what you thought. You know, just really make sure that you understand that this collection is just going to take you somewhere else. It's it's going to change the energy inside of you. It's going to change the energy that comes out of you. Because once we take that shift, that energetic shift, our frequency, our vibrational frequency just illuminates out of us. And we're just attracting all this great stuff. It's hard to believe that an oil could do that. But I'm I'm here. And I'm telling you that it is, that it can't because I have used prosperity. I've used other oils that Alexandria has created that literally helped me push through the limiting thoughts in my head, you know? So I can honestly say with the stories that I know and the experiences that I've had, that this collection is one, it's not, none like no other, no other company has a collection like this. No other company is going to have a collection that was created specifically for you to be more successful. And that's what this collection is. So let's talk about um, spring. Let's talk about prosperity. So prosperity, you know, it's an easy go-to oil for an easy go-to blend for everybody to understand because it truly is about prosperity. Prosperity is, you know, overcoming the idea that you are limited in what you can receive. So prosperity opens everything up. It helps you become more successful than you ever thought you could be. I know as a self-employed person, when prosperity, oh, that's a nice effect. When prosperity, <laughs> when prosperity, you know, when, when I am, my business is a little slow, um, then I diffuse prosperity. And it start, the phone starts to ring. Money starts to show up. You know, there's so, so many stories about prosperity and what people, um, you know, what people have achieved with prosperity or what they've gained and not ever, ever thought that they could get there. You know, we have a small little casino here nearby and there are some women who bought Alexandra's prosperity. And let me tell you, they didn't go or walk into that casino without their prosperity bottle. And they won every single time. It is just unbelievable. But here's the thing with this collection. It's not just applying it and trying and, you know, crossing your fingers and hoping it works. You got to do a little work as well. You've got to do a little bit of believing. So saying a mantra, creating the mon your own mantra, you know, saying this, it will really, truly help. And it will really push you through. It will, I mean, I'm telling you, it's just, you know, it's one of those, one of the blends that, you know, people truly, other companies come to Alexandra saying, what's in that blend? You know, how do we make it? And can we buy it? And she's very protective about her blends. And this is one of those blends. This is one of the most important blends because she knows exactly, you know, why you know, this blend is, you know, so powerful. So prosperity. So you're going to start with prosperity. It's the first month. It's the spring. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to start into September. Why not start then? Set an intention. What's the goal for the month or for the year? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to achieve in the next 12 months? So you start with prosperity and you use only prosperity for the entire month. 
every single day. Sometimes you've got to use the oils more than once a day. So if you start to grasp on, you know, if you start to run with a limiting idea or that record starts to play, you just open the bottle and you start putting it on and you start saying your mantra to yourself. You know, I believe, I know I am prosperous. You know, I am, you know, prosperity is coming to me. Abundance is coming to me. So whatever it is for yourself, you just say it and you put that oil on 12 months. I mean, 12 months, <laughs> 28 days, 30 days, one month. That's what you want to do. You want to really, truly put this oil on every single day, every single day. And if you need to, what some people have done in the past is um, they'll put it on a cotton ball. Or if you if you want to purchase those inhalers, you can put on an inhaler and that way it's always, it's small, it's in your pocket. Back in the day before they didn't make inhalers, I had a woman who bought jumbo sized cotton ball and she put it drops of the oil in the cotton ball and then she zipped it up in like a little snack size ziplock and when she needed it she took a big whiff she took it out she rubbed it on herself I have been known to put prosperity or any oil really on cotton balls and I put it in my car vent there are a lot of different car vent type stuff to diffuse inside your car but when I was a mobile massage therapist, I used prosperity in my car every single day because that was how I built my business. So where if you have an office, then diffuse prosperity there or do little cotton balls and, or place them throughout your room. That's where your business takes place. Then that's where the prosperity begins, right? So that's prosperity, 28, 30 days. It's truly what you want to do. Okay, so we're going to talk about letting go of fear. Letting go. So you've used prosperity for the for one month. Now you're going to use letting go of fear because what will stop anybody dead in their tracks is fear. Fear is that place that you can't grasp the sky's the limit. Fear is where you can, you don't believe that you can get you can have bigger or better. Fear is not, fear is contagious. It truly is because you can instill or someone could have instilled some fear within you about that's not really ever going to happen. You know, you, you can't travel around the world because you're going around the world. Why would you do that? You know, it's not safe to leave your home. Fear is contagious. And it's something that can overrun in your life because it could go to every level of your life. So letting go of fear allows you to truly go beyond and to believe in something bigger and better. I have used letting go of fear. I'm also a doula. And, um, you know, a first time pregnant mom going into labor really has a hard time. There's a lot of fear. There's a there's fear within that mom. There's fear with the par partner. Like what's going to ha happen to my partner? She's giving birth. What's going to happen to me? Our life is going to change. There's a lot of fear. And fear can actually slow down the progress of labor. Fear can actually slow down, you know, what is going to come. So I don't want to feel the pain. I'm too afraid. So I have used letting go of fear numerous times in a birthing situation to help a, a birthing mom let go of her fear. And to know that she's a strong woman. There are other oils in this company that support being a strong woman. But letting go of fear was truly the one oil I always used as a doula. Because I wanted to make sure that the birthing room was infused with there's not going to be any fear in this room. We're changing the environment. So letting go of fear helps you change that with inside of yourself helps you be just a little bit more brave, a little bit more courageous, and you just let that go. You use, so you've used prosperity for a month. Now you're going to use letting go of fear for a month, right? We've set the intention. Now we're actually going to let go of whatever fear that may limit us to really, you know, becoming abundant and manifesting or reaching our goal or our intention. So after we've let go of our fear, we need to actually then go back into our personal power. 
So after letting go of fear, we're going into the personal power. Can I change it? There we go. Okay. So personal power. Personal power is about returning the power to you. So what if we, you know, experienced people in our lives that said, you can't, you won't, this is what I'm going to do. This is how it's going to work. They've just taken your personal power. And it just personal power, you know, all of these situations aren't just about your childhood or about the environment that you grew up in. What about the life as your life as an adult? You know, I have a client whose husband worked for a university and his director, you know, the dean of his department took his personal power away, took away his personal power. And he moved to a different university and he was so afraid. So we gave him personal power. He regained his power back. He regained his voice. He was able to stand up for himself again. He was able to say, I am successful. You are not going to belittle me. You are not going to shame me into something else. He remembered why he got into the industry that he did. So personal power is helping you regain that power back. Personal power is about returning what you were already born with. So here you are taking it back and then it helps you with your determination right? Because once you feel empowered, you even more determined to achieve. You hit that, you know, here's a great story. Alexandria has a good story about personal power. There's a man that she worked with who had a lot of um, discourse with his father. His father belittled him a lot and he took over the business and you know, the business was suffering, but, you know, his father was there is just overpowering him. Well, his father passed away and he thought, OK, things should be better. Things are going to be great. But nothing was really shifting. Nothing was shifting. He sees Alexandria. Alexandria says, OK, okay let's let's take a look at everything. The one thing Alexandria realized is that above his desk was a picture of his father a portrait of his father. So his father was still, demi you know, just belittling him because he was standing right there. He was still over, he was just overseeing him. So that energetic exchange was still happening. He took the portrait down. He started using personal power. He just really like skyrocketed from that point on. So personal power is truly about coming back and taking over your life, getting it back from where somewhere along your life, it just slipped away. It also helps you spread the, you know, spread the seeds a little bit more. This is where the seeds are starting to sprout, right? So you've set the intention with prosperity. You're letting go of the fear. Now this month, you're taking back your personal power. And the seeds are coming up. They're, they're sprouting up. So something is actually starting to happen. So we're going to move into something that takes you into action. And that is seeing the big picture. Seeing the big picture is truly about opening your eyes and believing that the bigger and the better is out there for you. That the universe is there to support you in everything that you want and then some. So the big picture is about, uh, you know, really honing in on, I just wanted this one little thing. Now I've got something bigger and better that's going to come because now I truly believe that it's going to happen. So you go, we're moving away from the negative talk within ourselves and we're going to start moving, moving into some action. So once again, you have used each of these oils for one month because they work together, they work in harmony with one another. So in order for it to really manifest into something bigger, you've got to let them do their jobs. You've got to let them do their jobs because that's how Alexandria creates her blends. If you want a blend that's gonna to shift to you, you've got to kind of 
just do just that blend to give it the space within yourself and your life to really move forward. Okay. So, <laughs> excuse me, after we see the big picture, now there's a lot of joy happening, right? Because what's happening now, we're actually going to start to feeling joyful. We're actually going to be so happy that we get to see what, you know, all the work that we're doing, right? Because we've planted the seeds and we're kind of moving through them. We're harvesting them. Now we really get a chance to see what is out there. You know, what is next? What can we do? And we're going to be happy because we're seeing we're seeing that there's a little bit of a reward from the work that we've been doing. There's a little bit of reward from the last four months. So now we get to do this. So the seasons of success are about doing the work and then being able to really look at it and go, okay, now I see it happening. Now I see. It doesn't mean that the previous four months that you're not going to see a result of anything. Not at all. That's not, that's not what this means. The joy is now you get to be happy because when you're in a limiting thought pattern, are you really joy? Do you feel joy when you're really running through that limiting belief of, I don't think so. I don't think this is going to happen for me. You're not. How can you be in joy? We're kind of clearing the path, right? Do you see how this is working now? Do you understand why following each of the oils each month really kind of helps you get to something completely fantastic? So from joy, we got a little pause of being happy. Now we're going to stop the self-sabotage because at this point, we're happy and we're noticing and we're joyful and we're seeing some sort of result of what we've the work that we've done the previous four months. And now we sit back and we are you second guessing yourself? Yeah, you start to second guess yourself. So now you need to stop the self-sabotage. Now you really need to dig in deep and you need to say, no, no more. I'm not going to set myself up to be limited. I'm not going to set myself up to withdraw because just like in food and diets, we get to a place and we think, oh, we're good. I don't need to do it anymore. Right? So it's the same thing with personal growth. You start to feel really good. You've done some good work. And now you're like, I can just coast on by. No, the work is still there. We're still digging deep into that cellular memory. We're still digging deep. We're still trying to change that thought pattern that we've lived with. And we really wanna focus in on that. So from stop self-sabotage, we move into self-aware. So how easy is that? Self-aware is about being aware, being aware of ourselves. And it's, you know, we're heading into the fall. So what starts to happen in the fall time? So the fall is about, well, you know, it's almost time to start harvesting, right? I'm not a farmer. I don't know, <laughs> but it's time to start to harvest. We've got to start looking at what our growth has taken, what growth have take has taken place. And this is what this is. So you've built up a lot of and cleared a lot of paths. Now we want to have that self-awareness, the self-awareness of, you know, am I more content? Am I happier? You know, is life really moving forward? Did I already attain a goal? Do I need to, you know, is the goal, is that just all that I want? What have you started with just one little simple goal or intention? And now with all of this that you've been doing, it's gotten bigger. All I want to do is enroll five people this year. Well, maybe the five went to 50 and maybe now the 50 went to 500. This is where we're at. This is how we're moving forward. This is what we're trying to do. So self-aware is about kind of checking in with yourself, letting yourself know, like, where am I at? How am I doing this? What's going to happen? From self-aware, we go into gentle change because there are changes that are going to happen. Sometimes you just need to take a moment and be good to yourself. And gentle change is about that. Gentle change is truly about what, you know, I have been through a rough patch and it's time for me 
to kind of pull up my pants and keep moving forward and to be okay with how that looks. However that looks, you're going to have a gentle change that takes place. It's going to start to ease up a little bit. Maybe in the past, you know, seven months, you've, you know, a little bit of drama has shown up. Yeah, because when you're clearing out cellular memory, stuff shows up. And now it's time to really settle in and be okay with, all right, the change is happening. Because sometimes the people around you, because your light, your vibrational frequency is just going to start illuminating you. You are just going to be shiny and light filled that people may retract because they can't handle that level of light. So this gentle change helps support you in continuing to move forward. We go from gentle change to compassion because we're staying in that place of being compassionate for ourselves and for other people. Because when people leave you, you still have to have a level of compassion. When you choose to leave people, you still have to have a level of compassion. When you judge yourself, you need to have a level of compassion. So what if you get to this place eight months later and nothing's happened? I've used every single one of these bottles every single month and nothing's happening. Have compassion for yourself. You don't know what's happening behind the big curtain. You don't know what's lining up for you. You have to have compassion. Compassion for yourself. Compassion to lift others up. Compassion to be able to say, it's coming. It's coming. Because sometimes it takes compassion to talk to your limiting self and say, it's okay. Hey, I understand that you don't believe. So I sent compassion to that part of my, my soul who doesn't believe because I do believe. And that's what compassion is about. From compassion, we move into gratitude. Gratitude is um, one of Alexandria's older blends. It's just like prosperity and you know, it has done a lot of great things. Grat you know, gratitude is not just about gratitude. Gratitude is about being able to protect yourself. So it's about being able to, you know, really hold on to what you do have and what you know is coming. So being grateful being in the place of gratitude for what I don't know, but what is coming, right? So we're still working towards moving forward and believing in whatever's coming is going to be bigger and better. And gratitude puts you in that place. <laughs> Excuse me. Some people will maybe think, why well, isn't gratitude in November? Because that's, you know, it's Thanksgiving. That's not what it's about because we're not following that calendar. We're following the earth calendar. We're looking at spring spring, summer, fall, and we're heading into winter. So this is what we're looking at. We want to know everything I have achieved in the last nine months, everything that's coming to me in the next three months, I'm grateful for already. So that's gratitude. From gratitude, we move into hope because in hope, we truly understand and we believe that even though there was a little bit of a setback, even though there is a little bit of a challenge, you know, I still have hope. I still have hope that everything I want to achieve is going to come. Everything that I want to manifest is going to show up and it's going to be bigger and better. The sky is truly the limit. So, you know, there's a, there's something that I've learned in my life, which is sometimes the universe just kind of wants to test you a little bit just to see, do you really believe? Do you trust? Do you have faith? And sometimes those little obstacles show up. So you've got to persevere through that. And this, this collection, that's what this collection does. It helps you persevere through that one little hiccup that may happen in your life. And you think it's not going to happen. And you think, and then you put on the oil and you're like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You say your mantra, you put on the oil and you just go for it. So hope, 
is giving you that moment of chance. Is the hope is helping you get to that place. So that way you can keep persevering through. So from hope, we go into the last oil, which is high vibe. So at this point, we've done the 12 months, right? And at this point, stuff has shown up. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever it is, it is. It's high. It's, you know, th at this point, we are very happy. And we just want to include that happiness with inside of us. We want to be able to just say, yes, we did it. I achieved it. The goal is there. Or maybe the goal didn't get there. And that's okay. Because all you have to do is say, you know what? I cleared a lot of limiting beliefs. I manifested something else that I never thought would I would manifest. So maybe it was something else. Maybe it was something else that was more important that you had to create and receive before your actual intention or goal shows up. And sometimes that's how the universe works. Sometimes you just got to clear the path and then work, get to the other place before you get to what you really, truly want. Doesn't mean, does it, I don't want to say it's a magical thing, right? And I don't want to say that this is just, you know, you got to believe in the magic and you have to believe in the mantras that you create for yourself. You need to know that, that at this high vibe, you are resonating with something that is stronger. You are resonating with something that is, you know, even more untouchable than you can truly understand. You're going to a higher, the high vibe is going to a higher vibrational frequency. And that's what keeps us moving forward. And that's what's inside of us. Each oil, you can go to the next slide. Each oil is built up upon each other. They all work completely in alignment with one another. Each oil does help each other. Alexandria doesn't create a collection where only one individual oil is going to shine. She creates a collection. So each individual oil will collect, collectively work together. So when you use the seasons of success, the main, the main, the main goal is to use them once a month. You know, I mean, use them one oil every single month and then keep moving forward and just keep moving forward. So prosperity for a month, letting go of fear for a month, let each oil do its job. Let them move you through the entire 12 months. See what you can do for yourself. See what you can actually manifest for yourself. See what other people can truly truly manifest so one of the greatest things about this oil is that alexandria has specific intentions and this intention of this collection is to help you become successful in whatever ever what you want to do so make sure that when you do this collection Try it. I mean, it's not saying that you can't pick and choose like, oh, I want to do it this way. It's okay. You can do that. But if you really want to set a goal and really shift with inside yourself, do it this way. It's the way she created it. It's how she wanted it to work. The seasons of the earth have specific, you know, energetic connection to these oils. And that's why she's created them this way. Each one supports each other and it keeps you focused and it keeps you going. And that's what's really important to remember. We're trying to overcome a whole lot of stuff. And the same time, we're opening ourselves up to receive everything that we could possibly receive and then some. So try to understand that. I mean, I know it's difficult to think, oh my gosh, I, you know, I started off with gratitude. You know, it's okay. Buy a bottle of prosperity. You're still, if you buy the oils of the month, you're still going to get the oils. Eventually you're going to have O12 anyways. So just go ahead and just start. Start with your own spring equinox next month. Start with prosperity. Set your goal. What's the seed that you want to plant with inside of you? 
see what happens and then move forward and then go to the letting go of fear. Just keep moving forward. And then that will truly make a big difference for you. So that is the seasons of success. I hope that you all have an incredible time using these oils because I can truly understand um, that, or I truly do understand, I want to say, how powerful they are. And, you know, if you haven't really ever given a full collection some attention, this is the one to start with. And this is the one that will truly help you, you know, in the next 12 months, if you choose so, if you choose to do it. So thank you very much. Um, do we, you want to go ahead and talk about Lavender Eyes? Because it's a great promotion. Uh, well, let me just let me just say, uh, for those that know me, know the personal development journey I have been on, and boy, I'm going to start all over with prosperity and do this um, month by month, starting in September. Um, and I'm I'm so excited to see and grateful. Let's throw that grateful oil in. So uh, grateful for what's to come and what has come for everyone um, here with Go to Sauna. Um, the growth that we have had this these past what six weeks, I think we've been open to um, social sharing, has been phenomenal. So many people coming on, so many great leaders rising and helping others. And Veronica, I told you, if this is your first time listening to Veronica teach on essential oils drop that in the chat and how excited you are for our next class um and we'll get to that in just a second but veronica i'm gonna uh well let me just say that personal development is something that you should focus on whether you are sharing the business opportunity with anyone building teams you know running this as a business or not your self-development is going to truly change your life um, and it's going to open up doors, possibilities, and abundance for things that you deserve, even though your inner self is telling you that you can't do it. You need to wipe that from your vocabulary, like Veronica said. So thank you. Thank you. Veronica, do you want to talk about Lavender Ice, our freebie right now? I would love to. Lavender Ice is one of those blends that I keep in my pocket. I keep next to my bed. I keep in my purse because it is a great go-to. It does so much. If you have an upset stomach, you can rub it on your belly. If you are getting hot, because I run hot, I put lavender ice on. If you have a headache, you can roll it on the hairline of your head, not in your ear, around the outside of your ear. It will rub it in. It'll help take the headache away. If you, I mean, honestly, Lavender Eyes has so many great qualities and characteristics and properties to it that it is really a great blend to have. And it is an incredible aroma stick. It's so easy to keep in there, you know, to just keep by you and just use all the time. It can, you know, I use Lavender Eyes before I go to bed sometimes. And people say, well, doesn't the peppermint kind of keep you stimulated? Well, not so much because the lavender helps cut down that stimulation a little. So it's more about, for me, the lavender ice when I go to bed is it helps relax me. And it also helps keep me cool, especially in these hot summer nights. So it really works out well. And if you're at last, you know, if you don't have digest, you know, ease or, you know, you have something else for your, your digestion, then lavender ice really works incredibly well. If you know that you're going to hit you know, eat, you know, hit a big restaurant that has a lot of big, rich food, then maybe a little lavender ice on your belly before you go eat or an after that will help you just, you know, keep things going. But it works incredibly well. It is really a great blend to kind of keep with you. It is one of my standbys, truly is. Awesome. Thank you. I cannot believe Paula is so incredibly generous with her customers, uh, with the customers of Go to Sauna that, you know, buy a, a $12.95 oil of the month, which is uh, Copaiba. Did I say it right this time? 
Copaiba. You did. Yes. Yay. Uh, if you buy the $12.95 Copaiba, you get this $27 oil for free. Now, obviously, after today's class, everyone is going to run to their shopping carts and get prosperity <laughs> so they can start that on September 1. Um, and have your own spring equinox, like she said. I uh, What an amazing class. Thank you. When you first told me the concept behind Alexandria uh, formulating this collection, I was blown away. Like I went and bought Prosperity right away. Um, somebody asked, can you use more than one oil when you're using this, uh, when you're on your oil of the month? Um, are we talking about the, we're talking about the success of, oh, so can you use one of the success uh, seasons of success oils and then use something else like lavender ice? Yes, definitely. The intention is different. Um, the application is probably going to be different. Um, so it is definitely, you know, usable. So I, I use oil all day long. So uh, I, I will apply, you know, wellness for adults sometimes. And then I will later on put on lavender ice or I'll put on you know calm or something of that nature so it is possible to really truly you know use different oils do not use them do not apply them here's what I want to say do not apply them at the same time do them different times so if you want to start your day off with your intention then put your season of success oil on first if you know that you want to put um, wellness on then put the wellness on later, you know, or put it on, uh, you know, an hour or two later. So it really is about timing. So, but you can definitely use more than one oil a day. That is helpful. Awesome. And then can you explain the difference between prosperity and prosper? Same blend, different names. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. That's what, that's what happens when things get updated. So yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so we will September 13th, if you would like to mark your calendars and make sure that you invite people, um, we are going to do part one of the chakra collection next. And we're super excited to, um, I've collected a couple of those already myself. I, I need to really pace myself because I, I want to go buy them all. Uh, but um, we are going to be going over the, um, are we starting at the root chakra one? Is that what we decided, Veronica? Yes. Yeah. So we'll do, we'll cover, well, actually, we're going to cover, um, yeah, the the bottom half. Yes. The bottom half right. of the chakras. Yes. So if you're familiar with what chakras are, um, then you are really, really going to understand um, and appreciate this next class uh, again oils that are formulated by Alexandria cannot be beat by any product or company in the entire world. Uh, one thing about Alexandria is her re reputation is so renowned throughout the world that she gets first harvest rights on the, on the, on, before any company, she gets to go in and pick where her plants and herbs are going to be harvested and she gets to harvest those first. So she, we truly do have the best of the best here and the price point. Like if you think about that, if you do the seasons of success bundle, which is a $29.95 um, seasons of success oil, you really get the single oil for free. Plus right now, and I don't know when this is going to go off. It could be any day. Um, you're also getting the $27.95 lavender ice oil for free. So the bundle is a fantastic deal. Um, and uh, we're just, I just feel so blessed to uh, have this opportunity to share this very private and um, heart-centered collection. These, these oils are a part of Alexandria. She takes them so seriously. They're, they're like her children in, in a sense. And so there's so much love so much um, gratitude and so much intention into every tiny bottle that it's more than just an essential oil. It is an experience and everyone needs to know about the experience of Goda Sana. So anyway, it's life changing. Uh, They're life changing. That's what they, they are. They are life changing. These, these collections are truly life changing. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we end the meeting, Veronica? No, but come to the chakra talk next month because it'll be fun because you will get some clues also about how to use how to partner them up 
with some seasons of success. So definitely come in to the chakra collection talk. We will look forward to it. That's right. Yes, they do tie into the seasons of success. GA asked, do I only get that through you? No, GA, you can um, order that through your new account um, that you uh, created when you ordered Prosperity three days ago. So with that, I'm going to end the meeting and y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for being a part of our inaugural class. We look forward to these monthly meetings with you to bring a more in-depth knowledge of the uh, different collections and uses for uh, the Go to Sauna essential oil line. So with that, Tina Hureman and Veronica Ortega signing out. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.